GoDaddy and Squarespace. Today I'm gonna to explain their differences. We'll cover the editor, templates, features, and pricing. I don't wanna waste your time, so let's get into it. We'll start with the editor. This is Squarespace. We'll start by creating a page. We'll call it About. We'll click Edit, open the editor, and we start by adding a section. We'll just add a blank section for now. Then we'll add a block, and there's lots of different blocks we can add. But let's add a text block. We can drag and drop this text block all around the page, but let's center it right here. We'll add another text block, center that, nice. Now there's just a bit too much spacing, so let's edit this section and we'll just make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, there we go. Now, of course, you can also edit your mobile website, so we can make changes here too. We started with a blank section, of course, but you can also start with a pre-designed section. Let's check the about sections and this one looks good. There we go. Very cool. Now let's switch over to GoDaddy and let's start by adding a page. Like Squarespace's pages are built by adding sections and we have a bunch of sections to choose from. Let's try this one. Now GoDaddy is not a drag and drop editor like Squarespace, so we can't just grab these elements and move them, though we can delete them. And unfortunately, we can't add new elements either. So for example, if we wanted to add an image, we can't. We can only change this image and we can't even resize it. So you're really locked into the layout. Now let's try editing this text and let's make it into a heading and <laughs> course. So that's annoying. We can't even add a heading here because it made the entire text section a heading. Instead, the best we can do is make it bold. Now, what I'm trying to point out here is that GoDaddy's editor is really simple. You just add these sections and the really cookie cutter. There's not a lot of flexibility. Squarespace, on the other hand, provides pre-designed sections, but you can also move elements around, so it's flexible if you need that. Now, some people might not want flexibility. They'd rather just a fill in the blanks website editor. In that case, GoDaddy may work for them. For me personally, I much rather have the flexibility to move things around if I need. Now, before we move on to templates, I wanna make a quick note. My work is supported by affiliate commissions, so if you'd like to try GoDaddy or Squarespace, you can find a link to both of them in the video description and I might earn a commission. Okay, so templates. Let's look at some example GoDaddy templates. Honestly, I'd say they all look pretty okay. There are definitely website builders with nicer themes, but yeah, I mean, these are pretty good. Now let's switch over and look at Squarespace. Squarespace is known for their templates uh, I honestly think they have the best templates of any website builder. They definitely have a look and feel. Lots of white space, bold typography, and plenty of room for photography. Okay, let's keep things moving. What about features? Well, both GoDaddy and Squarespace actually provide quite a few features. Like, they both cover the basics, for example. Forms, photo galleries, e-commerce, appointment booking, blogs. Squarespace has a few extra features that GoDaddy doesn't, like you can sell memberships and courses, and they have a mobile app, which actually lets you edit the website on the go too. Technically, GoDaddy has an app, but it doesn't actually let you edit your website. So while they do both provide similar features, I think there's a difference in overall quality. Squarespace tends to do just a better job of features. Let me show you with some examples. Let's add a blog in GoDaddy. So we just add a blog section and we have three different blog sections we could try. Let's go with this one. Now to add blog posts, we need to leave the website editor. We'll click manage blog and we're in a separate editor. Let's create a new post, the history of GoDaddy. We'll publish, hit close, 
go back to the website. And now let's preview our blog. And now we can actually see what our blog posts look like. And here's what I think is so lame. We can't change this layout at all. Doesn't matter what section we choose, this is it. Want to get rid of the sidebar? Nope. Want to add an author? Nope. Want to make the layout wider? Nope. GoDaddy's marketing website says you can adjust the layout and the design of your blog to your liking, but you definitely can't adjust the layout of blog posts. It just feels very half-baked, again, especially when you compare it to Squarespace. So let's jump into Squarespace and look at their blog editor. Let's edit the post and make some customizations. We can customize the size. Change where we want the meta to be positioned. Hide the date, hide the author. We can select a different color scheme based on our theme's colors. So Squarespace has just built out the details. You don't have to customize your blog, but if you want to, you can. This attention to detail is something I personally love about Squarespace. And maybe it's just because I'm a web designer and I care about this stuff, but I, I don't know. For me, it's important. Here's another example, photo galleries. Every website builder has photo galleries, right? Now, notice how this mug is off center? Well, Squarespace has these little focal point handles that we can use to drag the focal point of the crop. And now it's no longer off center. This is a detail to be sure, but if you care about the details, it's just nice to have. Okay, let's talk pricing. With Squarespace, you can either pay monthly or annually. Annual gets you a 30% discount. GoDaddy offers either monthly or annual plans, but it's not quite as obvious. We have to add a plan to our cart, and then we can see the monthly versus annual prices. So we can see that GoDaddy's cheapest plan is cheaper than Squarespace's cheaper plan, which probably makes sense. I think in this review, we've seen that Squarespace is a bit more of a premium product, and the price reflects that. Now, the one thing to know with GoDaddy is they advertise a cheap price, but if you read the fine print, you'll see that it's an introductory price just for the first year. After that, it will renew at a higher price. So just something to be aware of. Okay, that's GoDaddy versus Squarespace. Once again, my work is supported by affiliate commissions, so if you'd like to try GoDaddy or Squarespace, you can find a link to both in the video description, and I might earn a commission. I hope this was helpful, and I wish you good luck with your website.